Hello and welcome to Your City, Your News, where we inform you about issues and topics happening in the city of El Segundo. I'm Molly Perlman. So far, four El Segundo residents have been targets of a nationwide IRS scam. The suspects are calling people at random. Uh, we believe that the suspects are calling from overseas. Once someone picks up the phone, the victim will be told they owe a large sum of money to the IRS and back taxes and will be arrested if not paid immediately. They'll instruct the victim that they need to go to either 7-Eleven or some other convenience store and uh, get a bunch of money in a money pack or uh, some other prepaid card and uh, they'll be instructed to call the suspect back on a phone number and give them the prepaid, uh, the numbers to the prepaid card. The detective also stated that the IRS nor any other government agency will ask for personal identifying information such as date of birth, social security, credit and bank card numbers over the phone. Anyone who receives a similar call is advised to contact our local police station at 310-524-2200. AT&T has agreed to buy El Segundo-based DirecTV in a $48.5 billion deal. With 5.7 million Uverse TV customers and 20.3 million DirecTV customers in the U.S., the combined AT&T DirecTV would serve 26 million. That would make it the second largest pay TV operator behind a combined Comcast-Time Warner cable merger proposed in February. According to both companies, DirecTV would continue to be headquartered in El Segundo, keeping over 2,400 jobs here in town, following the deal that is expected to close within a year. The city of El Segundo and local businesses recently celebrated Older Americans Month. Catherine Chen has the story. In the Crystal Ballroom at the Hacienda Hotel, 150 people are here today to enjoy a hot lunch, free giveaways, and great company. It's time for Elderfest, an annual event dedicated to a very special group of community members. It gives us a chance to recognize them and, and thank them for all of their time spent in the community and all of the good things that they do in the community for everyone. Each year, one older American is honored with the Older American of the Year Award. This year, it was Shirley Williams, who has been part of El Segundo for more than 20 years. Well, I wish it were the Younger American of the Year, but unfortunately, <laughs> it is not. <laughs> and actually, it was a great honor. With all of her involvement at the Joslin Center and the El Segundo Senior Club, she is a perfect person for this award. Shirley's accomplishments include coordinating weekly Saturday night dances and recruiting more than 300 members of the El Segundo Senior Club. I've made lifetime friends with many, many people in this community. As an inspiration and great help to others, that comes as no surprise. For El Segundo TV, I'm Catherine Chen. An El Segundo-based coupon site called Swagbucks recently raised $60 million in its first round of external funding. The tech company received the funds from Technology Crossover Ventures, a venture capital firm that has backed companies such as Facebook, Netflix, and Spotify. Swagbucks offers gift cards to Walmart, Nordstrom, Amazon.com, and about 300 other online stores in exchange for interacting on its site. The company, which states it's the top provider of free gift cards, also announced that protege executive chairman Chuck David will become Swagbucks' new CEO. David previously ran discount shopping site Shopzilla and online movie ticket site Fandango. Every year in America, over 4,000 people die and more than 20,000 are injured in fires. The El Segundo Fire Department does their part to promote fire safety. Jennifer Murillo has more. Being caught in a fire can be a very scary situation, but knowing a few basic facts can increase your chances of staying safe and surviving. You could do stop, drop, and roll. Fire Safety Day invited everyone to learn more about firefighters and what they do. There's this fire hat yeah, that protects his head. The fire department also had a vehicle extrication demonstration, showing the community how they safely rescue injured people from their cars. We have a golden hour to get them out of the car and on the emergency room operating table in one hour. I think that's good because then if that ever happens to them, that's what they're going to do and they're not like... 
Those who attended were also able to check out the new 105-foot tiller truck that is longer and stores more equipment than the current trucks and will be replacing one that is close to the end of its service. It gets us in really tight spots on the west side of town so we can protect the citizens of El Segundo better. For those who missed Fire Safety Day, you might see the tiller truck around town as our firefighters are currently undergoing over 400 hours of training before it will go into service. How are you getting ready for the 4th of July? Amy Davis shows us how one group is preparing for the big day. We are here at the El Segundo Women's Club where we are about to find out why it takes a year's worth of hard work and dedication to create something excellent. In the early 1970s, the El Segundo Women's Club started the tradition of stuffing eggs with confetti for a good cause. These eggs, we call them cascarones, and we make them all year long and then take them down to Rec Park on 4th of July. We have a big celebration. All the money that we make goes for scholarships to our high school. Twice a month for over 40 years, these ladies have been working hard to stuff these eggs just to have them destroyed come the 4th of July. They buy them and then they take them and they hit everybody on their heads, breaks the eggs and the confetti goes all over. It's a tradition, it really is a tradition. For as little as $2, you can buy yourself an egg full of fun while at the same time help out an El Segundo High School student. For El Segundo TV, I'm Amy Davis. Well, that's all for today. Remember that you can also keep up with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter by searching El Segundo TV. Thanks for watching Your City, Your News. I'm Molly Perlman. We'll see you next time.